is proving to be a lot harder than I thought it would be. So I haven't exactly picked out my fast yet. <laughs> so now it's time to work out. Hey friends, how are you today? It is a workout day. It's midweek. It is Halloween today, actually. So we have just broke our fast today. My husband went to work and he took all of his stuff with him. And I broke my fast this morning at 86 hours. And I had some bone broth, some sauerkraut, waited a bit. And then I had a small portion of like some leftover shepherd's pie that we had. And that was basically just mixed veggies, uh, lentils, a little bit of ground beef, and a little bit of mashed potato and cheese on top. And that's what I had for breaking my fast this morning. <sighs> so today's an eating day for me. So since I fasted about three and a half days, I'm going to eat today. I'm going to go to lunch with my mother-in-law after this. So we've got to get this workout done pretty quickly. Yeah, so that's what's happening this week. My husband's back at work. I'm all by myself. I think I might have fasted just a little bit too long because I started to get a little bit of food anxiety when I was going to sleep last night. So I was glad to break my fast this morning pretty much almost right away. Like I got up at 6.30 but then I broke my fast at 7.30. I really just couldn't wait. And then also because I'm trying to work on plans to make my meals a little bit healthier this month. So that's also giving me a little food anxiety. So I don't know. I need to just like... I need to just chill out and just let it be what it's going to be. <laughs> ah, so we're going to really just take things one day at a time and we'll just decide one day at a time if I'm doing one meal a day or maybe if I'm having too much food anxiety I might do two meals because I don't want to tr any I don't want anything to trigger um, me to binge or overeat um, on things that I'm not supposed to be eating. So. Today, we're just going to focus on today. I had a breakfast. I'm going to have a lunch. I may have a small dinner. Um, so we'll, but we'll see how lunch goes. I was really wanting to do like alternate day fasting. So, but we'll see how I feel after eating today. Hopefully I feel better after eating today, right? Like that's, that's the plan. Feel better after eating today. This is proving to be a lot harder than I thought it would be. And I'm not sure why I'm feeling like it's hard right now. We'll get through it. Happy Halloween. Let the holidays begin. All right, let's get this done. Hopefully you'll get some lighting on this one. This one is a super set, so that's just two exercises back to back without resting in between. And it's the last exercise.
shower and get ready for lunch <laughs> what an afternoon it has been what a day it's been um went to the store today just got a few things some heavy cream i got some yogurt cottage cheese avocado some salsa verde and some of my sugar-free candies that i like to get lunch today when we went out i ended up getting a sandwich it was like a, a italian sub sandwich with fries and stuff but now it's dinner time. My husband's going to be home in about 20 minutes and he's not eating tonight. So I thought I'd just eat a little light snack dinner. And I just got some chia pudding with uh, some keto granola on top. And I'm just going to eat that for dinner tonight and call it good. And we're going to see about doing alternate day fasting. So I don't think I'm going to eat tomorrow at all. So yeah, that's where we're at today. So I'm going to call it a night. But we'll see you, I don't know, probably tomorrow. I'll check in with you later. All right. <laughs> it's a beautiful sunny day today, and I have a lot of chores to get done. We have decided we're doing alternate day fasting this week, so I am not eating today. My house is just kind of a mess. I really need to go like do a little bit of laundry. I need to put one load of laundry away. So thankfully I've been trying to keep up a little bit on the laundry and not let it get too far behind. The kitchen's a little bit of a disaster because I did eat yesterday, but I didn't wash dishes. <laughs> eh. Just house stuff. So Halloween's over. So I'm going to start taking down the Halloween decorations and just stuff needs to get done today. And it's late. <laughs> I slept in today. It is almost noon. And pretty much the only thing I've gotten done is my reading. And my, you know, had my coffee, did my reading, and that's it. So we gotta get started with our day. Good morning friends. I am getting myself some breakfast ready. I did not eat yesterday at all. I just have this breakfast mix that my husband made last week when he was off and we didn't eat it all so it's just roasted vegetables, a little bit of potatoes and some beans all kind of mashed together and so I'm just reheating that but first we are going to start with heating our broth. That is what we're going to break our fast with, as well as sauerkraut. And I'm just going to make this like into a little soup. So I just put the spoon the kraut. <laughs> I just spoon the sauerkraut into a little bowl, and I just take a couple of globs full. I don't really measure it or anything, but sauerkraut in the bowl, and then I just pour my warm broth into this, and it's like a little sauerkraut cabbage soup. Oh yummy. Mm. This actually is so delicious. When you haven't eaten in a while, pretty much just about anything tastes good. Mm. Mm, I 
I'm gonna go sit down and finish this. Well, it's actually about an hour and a half later, but here's the plate. It's like I said, it's roasted vegetables with a little bit of potatoes and some beans and salsa. It's kind of all mixed together so it looks like a weird brown color, but then I just added a couple of eggs on top. And that's breakfast today. So, yum, I'm starving. It's actually been like an hour and a half since I had that broth and sauerkraut. Um, I just got sidetracked reading, so, but now I'm starving. I really gotta eat. Pop that nice egg yolk right on there, yum, yum. I love a runny egg. Mm. Breakfast is my favorite meal. I could eat it all day long. I think that's why I decided to go with the alternate day fasting instead of one meal a day. I was really missing breakfast last month. So I figured at least this way I can have breakfast every other day. Mm. All right, I need to get started cooking, um, and this is actually for my husband's lunch on Saturday. Today is Thursday, but I'm not eating tomorrow. And uh, when I don't eat, I don't wanna cook. So I'm gonna cook today. We're gonna make basically just like a Sunday gravy, a spaghetti sauce kind of situation. I already told him I would send him with spaghetti sauce for, for his lunch. So, and then this is something, you know, you can make and then just freeze up if you don't want to eat all of it. So it's kind of what we do. Since it's just me and him eating now, we kind of just will make a regular family size meal and then we'll just freeze the extra for another day. Do a tiny bit of avocado oil in the bottom just so these sausages don't stick. I only have bratwurst sausage in my freezer. I don't have Italian, so we're just going with bratwurst because that's what I got. I think these are all browned up. We're just gonna set these aside for a little bit. A tiny bit more. I'm gonna add some frozen veg that we already pre-chopped up. It's onions and celery and carrots. We're gonna let the veg cook up a little bit and then we'll go ahead and add some more stuff. My husband canned our own fresh garlic, so let's try that out because we haven't opened one yet. Justin loves a food project of canning, so he's been slowly getting into that over the last couple years. We haven't canned a lot of stuff, but um, what we're using today is some canned, uh, home canned garlic. I really love a lot of fresh garlic. Maybe a little bit more. We're going to do just a tiny bit more because I love garlic, so a little bit more. Okay, four scoops. Four big heaping scoops of garlic. Now I'm going to add uh, some tomato paste and I'm going to let that cook with the veggies for a few minutes until it starts to get a little darker in color. Let's start mixing that in. The red color of the tomato paste has deepened a bit. I think I'm ready to stick the beef in there. And that's lean ground beef. I just get these chubs at Costco. So I don't really need to worry about draining the grease from this. Now we're going to salt generously. I'm going to add a generous amount of pepper. I'm also going to add some onion powder and some garlic powder. I think we can go ahead and add in a little Italian seasoning. And we'll go ahead and start getting all this mixed together. All right, I am going to start with, um, just for a little flavor and thickness, I'm gonna add some brown gravy. Probably just like a packet's worth, so maybe like three tablespoons. Of course, I will throw a bay leaf in there. And some Worcestershire. And I always just eyeball that because I like a couple tablespoons worth. I've got like a little less than half a jar of Rayo's. And then I'm gonna use a can of tomato sauce. I have some of this broth that I used for breaking my fast. So let's we'll use about two cups of that. All right, we're going to add a little more Italian seasoning, a little more garlic, 
a little more onion powder. I like to layer all the flavors. It's already simmering, I like that. And that's what I like about this. Now we can add our sausages back in there. I have to turn it down already. All right. A little bit of juice from the sausage. The sauce is ready to just sit and simmer for a couple hours now, so we'll just come check this about every 30 minutes and I'm going to let this cook, it's 12, almost 12.30 now, I'll probably let it cook until 2.30 or 3 o'clock. Alright, so for overall the month of October I feel like I did pretty good going working towards my goals. Um, probably could have eaten a little cleaner that last like week, full week of the month but you know whatever <laughs> we got a new month to try it out on right and so far I'm feeling pretty good yesterday not eating I didn't really film a lot yesterday because I don't know I wasn't really doing anything I didn't even walk yesterday sorry that's my dishwasher is super loud in the background but because I just, because I just didn't walk. Yesterday was a little difficult. In the afternoon after three o'clock, I did start to get like really, really hungry. And I was so hungry, I almost broke. I, I, I ended up crying a little bit because I just really wanted to eat. I don't know, yesterday just felt really stressful um, not eating. So, and I don't know if it was just because I was by myself all day or what, but it got really hard there for a little bit in the afternoon. And then once my husband got home, like I felt like more calm and stuff. And so it was fine in the evening, but the afternoon it was just like, I was sitting there crying. And But I'm eating today. I'm gonna put my show back on and continue walking. All right, don't mind the noise. I got the air fryer going with some broccoli in it. We are plating up my homemade burger and fries. Of course, I did need to try the bratwurst, so I took just a few little noodles and the bratwurst and a little bit of the sauce, and I ate that while I was cooking this because I'm starving. I feel like I haven't eaten in forever. And this is my leftover salad from my lunch the other day. <laughs> so, that's a lot mustard. fantastic here is the plate we have a hamburger patty with cheddar cheese some pickles and tomato on a little bit of lettuce and I made a Yukon gold air fryer french fries mm. I also ate a pumpkin cookie from the freezer I don't know what it is I always like to eat dessert first before I eat my main course yeah. anyways I'm gonna get to eating that's it for this video Thanks everyone for hanging out. I really appreciate it and I love you so much. Bye.